Hello everyone, it's Paiguru this side and today in this tutorial we are going to learn about some basic commands in terms. So let's get started. The first command that we are going to run here is who am I. Now just type who am I and then press enter and it will give you a username. On Android by default username will be u0 underscore a369 so that's what it is given. Now try the next command which is u name. It will give us the current operating system name. And we know that Android runs on Linux, that's why it's printing Linux C. Then the next command will be pwd, which we saw in the previous video. But let's again run this pwd, and it will give us the current location where we are in. So it says slash data slash data slash com dot termux slash files slash home. So basically, we are inside the home folder. Okay. Now, suppose if you want to print something on your screen, you can just type echo and then your message in double quotes. So I want to print echo hello and then if I just press enter it will print hello formula. Now let's say we want to create an empty file. So let's try to create it. Type text and then the file name. I will type hello.txt. Okay, press enter. And see uh, nothing happens but uh, the file will be created aut automatically. To see if the file has been created or not, type the next command which is ls which stands for list storage. So here you can see hello.txt and then another there is a folder the storage okay. Now in Termux you will see uh, files or folders in basically three colors. If the file name is uh, in white like here it is for hello.txt it is a normal file. If if the name is in purple color like here is storage it's a folder. Now we set up the storage in the previous video where we run the command Termux they are set up this storage and allow Termux to access our internal storage of our Android phone. And the third color will be green. Uh, it will be for executables, which we will learn in upcoming tutorials. Okay, so here we have created hello.txt. Now, suppose if you want to delete hello.txt, what we can do, we can just type rm, which is remove file, and then hello.txt. Okay, now rm can remove files as well as folders. After deleting the file, let's check once again if the file exists or not. So if you see now the file has been successfully deleted. The next command will be to uh, cat. Now cat is also used to create files, but unlike touch which is used to create empty files, using cat we can write content inside the file. So type cat and then uh, greater than symbol and then your file name. So hello dot txt. Now if I press enter. Uh, I'll get a screen like this. Okay, so here you can type anything. Yeah, see here, the green tilde sign is not here. It means that we are inside the file. You can type anything inside this. Like I want to type, hello. Uh, this is my first file. Okay, so let's just type it. And if you press enter, the file will not be saved. If you want to save the file, what you have to do, you have to first press ctrl and then you have to press z okay so if you press ctrl z your file will be saved now if we see ls there will be our file now if you want to see the content of this file what you can do you can type cat but this time you don't have to use the greater than symbol just type your file name hello.xt so here you can see this is the line that we wrote inside the file hello this is my first file now, uh, again, if you want to delete this, you can just use the command rm hello rm hello .txt, and you can delete the file. Okay, the next command will be clear. Since our screen is quite filled, let's just use the clear command to clear our screen. Then uh, let's try the date command, which will give us the current date. So our current date is 26 September, and time is 14:15, which is 2:50 IST. Okay, then if you want to see the calendar, just type the cal command and you will be able to see the calendar of this month. Now let's move to our next set of commands which will be to create folders, delete them, copy and move files inside folders. So to create folder, you can just type mkdir which is used to create folders or make directory. And here uh, it says mkdir missing print try mkdir dash dash self for more information basically i have to give the folder name so let's say i want to create a folder named 
uh, my folder and if I press enter you will see uh, no error this time and if I press ls type ls and this press enter you'll see now we have two folders uh, my folder and then storage now storage is internal storage folder of our Android app and by my folder is we created okay now if you want to go inside my folder what you have to do you have to type cd which stands for change directory and then uh, my folder which is our folder name so let's just type my folder and then press enter now you can see we are inside my folder in the left hand side after the tilde sign you will see the folder we are currently in initially there was no folder because we were inside the home directory and home directory is just represented by the tilde sign okay if you want to create a file here what you can do you can just type touch new file dot txt new file dot py whatever you want you can just type like this okay and then if you press ls type ls you will see uh, we have new file dot txt inside the my folder now to go back one folder up you can just type cd dot dot and press enter now you will see uh, we are outside my folder so if i just type ls you will see we are again getting all these three files hello.txt my folder and storage so this is how you can create folders now if you want to create or uh, delete the folder you can just type rm and then uh, your folder name which is my folder but in my case i will not be able to delete my folder because this folder is not empty if i just run rm my folder i'll get an error rm cannot remove my folder it is a directory to uh, make forcefully delete it what you can type rm dash r and then uh, type folder name which is my folder okay now uh, if i type ls you'll see the folder is deleted even though there was a file inside that folder okay now next thing will be to uh, copy files let's say i have uh, first let's just create another folder mkdir and then test okay so I've created a test folder. If I just type ls, you'll see there is a test folder here. What I want to do is I want to copy hello.txt inside test. So what we have to do is we have to type cp then file name which is hello.txt and where we want to move it. So I want to move it inside dot slash test. If I just and press enter here, our file will be moved. Uh, sorry copied so if i type ls see here we have hello.txt storage and test now if i want to see the contents of test folder what i can do i can just type ls and then test so let's see if it works or not so yes inside test file test folder you will see there's a file named hello.txt okay so this is how you can copy files again the command is copy cp then file name that you want to copy and then the folder inside which you want to copy so uh, let's just delete this file for now rm hello.txt because now, now I want to show you the example of uh, move so if I just type ls test once again and you will okay the file is not deleted oh, okay my my fault my fault I actually deleted the file from original folder so if I just type ls here you will see my original file was deleted so let me just uh, recreate it so what we can do touch uh, also you can use the arrow keys like this uh, arrow keys to move to go uh, up and down the commands okay so you can do things like this if you want so uh, yes let's just create another file and then we'll uh, move ahead so touch hello.txt now uh, we are inside the home directory so the file will be created here yes now let's move to cd test and delete the file from there and here if I type ls and then I remove the file hello.txt the file will be deleted now let's come back to our home folder or home folder or let's call it, call it root directory okay whatever you want then let's try to move the file so here we have uh, hello.txt and I want to move this file inside test so the command will be mv which is for move then the file name which is hello.txt and then the folder so in uh, linux we usually type the folder name starting with dot slash and then the file folder name so test now if i type ls you will see the hello.txt file is no longer here 
But if I ls the contents of test folder, you will see there's a file here. Also, you can try moving to it. cd test and then ls. You will see hello.txt is here. Okay, so this is how you can move files. Now, uh, let's check the final part of this tutorial, which will be to uh, install packages. So, it's very easy. What we can do, we can we have two commands to install and that will be pkg install and app install so whichever you want suppose i want to install a pack is named wget which is generally used to install uh, sorry download files from internet what we can do first let's check if uh, wget is installed or not so for this we have a command called which and then the pack is named wget if i type enter you will see this says the program uh, which is not installed installed it by executing pkg install which so neither we have which installed here neither wget so pkg and then install which okay so it's installing now it takes some time so here it's installed now let's just try running the command again which wget so you can see it says which no wget in this particular folder data slash data com dot tamax files slash user slash bit. so wget package is not installed again to install this we can just type pkg install wget okay and just type enter and it will install wget for us here it says do you want to continue or not just type y and it will install it if you don't want to manually type y every time while installing packages what we can do is you can just type pkg install then dash y and then the package name let's say i want to install a package named a uh, curl so what i can do i can just type pkg install dash y curl we'll learn about the wget ping curl in the next tutorials okay so uh, let's not install it in the in this tutorial Finally, after installing, let's check once again if wget is installed or not. So, we can type which and then wget. And here you can see it gives me the location of the folder where wget is installed. So, you will see by default all the packages will be installed inside the user slash bin folder. So, I guess this is enough for this video guys. Okay, one more thing, just uh, one more way to install packages. And that will be apt. So, you just type apt and it will give us something about how to use apt here initially it says apt 2.7.14 this is the version of apt and apt is a command line package manager and provides commands for searching and managing uh, packages okay so basically it's also used for installing and removing packages but termux says to use a pkg one so that's why we are using the pkg to use the uh, apt one you can just type apt and here see you can see a list of commands like list search so install install remove auto remove update upgrade okay so suppose uh, i want to search for a package named wget i can just type pk app search wget and it it tells the the names of the packages which have wget in it like c wget slash stable this is the package that we have just stored then wget2 wget2 that is static wget page these are the following packages having wget in the name. If you want to install them, you can just type wpk so apt and then install wget. So it says wget is already installed because we already installed it using the pkg command. So it's up to you, which one, whichever you want. If you want to use the pkg one, you can use it. Otherwise, you can use the app version. So yes, yeah, guys, this is it for this video. In the next tutorial, we'll learn about the wget, ping, and the curl commands. I hope you learned something new. If you are new to my channel, subscribe it, like it. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.